supplied all the nuts for this basically ever since I became state champion with the generic nuts. And that's where all the sponsorships come from all over. Televisor, helicopters, crowds, women, cocktails, the end is no more. We're pleased to announce that we will be interviewing Stabbing Cabin Cowboy regarding the game of Peanut Hole. Hello, Stabbing Cabin Cowboy. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking, Janet. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure, go ahead. Why don't we, Janice? <clears throat> At what age did you start playing Peanut Hole? Oh, it started a long time ago, before I even started playing Cornhole. I didn't like Cornhole. All my friends liked the Cornhole, but I didn't start till a while ago, uh, once I started getting really cornhole it is that enough is that the question you're looking for Go ahead. what about what about peanut holing were you drawn to well peanut hole is basically the new sport taking over the whole country at this time it takes special talent to be even become a peanut hole player like myself and and getting many sponsors if i will say all the nuts peanuts you can eat all right, throw it, basically. Do you think your shoe size matters when you play peanut hole? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you need at least a 10 and a half or 11 or 12 to even foot the power of the throw. And I never gonna leave home without any nuts. Go ahead. <sighs> Do you have a preference on the type of nuts you play with? Oh, absolutely. Every nut counts um, from the throw to the to the end of the throw to the start of the throw. I mean, I've won several state champions with the nuts I play with. Do you have any? Oh, absolutely. I got plenty of nuts. These are all my state champion nuts. Let me show you here on the camera. I don't know if you can see that, people. Those are my nuts. These ones all took Desert Champ, Inland Champ, and then the Magusto Champ. This one was one of my favorites this one penetrated the pin so so good it really stuck a lot of these are just like curved like cashew and this one right here is uh, the ball ranger i like that one too but anyways hopefully that answers your question what is the hardest part about paint playing peanut hole the peanut hole it takes a special talent. I mean, like I said earlier, it's from the throw to the backhand to the throw. Birds love it. Can I touch your hair? No. <laughs> Do you have a preference on the type of nuts you play with? Oh, absolutely. I mean, my main sponsorships here today. What is the hardest part about playing peanut hole? Well, Jill, um, basically getting it in the hole getting as many birdies as you can to be the champ. Can I touch your hair? No, you may not touch my hair. How about if we watch you warm up? Warming up, let's go. Did you start playing peanut hole? <laughs> well, that's a long story short. I started uh, playing peanut hole after playing cornhole, which I didn't find 
much desire in cornholing with my buddies and friends. What about peanut holing were you drawn to? <laughs> my glasses are fogging up. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> Folks, we're happy to be here interviewing Stabbing Cabin Cowboy regarding the game of peanut hole. Hello, Stabbing Cabin Cowboy. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Jill. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure, let's do it. That's why we're here, right? That's why we're all here. At what age did you start playing peanut hole? Oh, gosh. We're really going back. I started playing peanut hole with the chickens. They always ate my corn. Friends didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Bird, shut up. 